Okay guys, welcome to this video on how to remove and replace an O2 sensor. Okay, so tools you'll need for this task would be an O2 sensor socket. Okay, the socket is a 22mm but you can see that it's cut out in the centre and what that allows for is um, allows for your, your wires so that, that I can get down over the wires like so. Okay, now what does an O2 sensor do? Well basically an O2 sensor will um, read the oxygen content coming out after combustion inside your engine. It will then tell your ECU um, to adjust your fuel mixture according on the, on the load on the engine. Okay, so the, the talk to the ECU and they basically tell the ECU uh, what, how much fuel and how much air the engine actually needs depending on your engine load. Okay, so the first thing you need to do on this vehicle is pop up the switch out of the way and disconnect the switch. Okay, now that's done, and as you've seen, I've already put my O2 sensor socket on. Now, what you need to do is make sure that the vehicle is warm. Um, I took us a test drive around the block, made sure that the engine's pretty hot. Um, it makes it much easier to come out because when, when things heat up they expand and it's much far easier to take that out then okay put on your ratchet extension bar and that one was pretty simple enough and as you can see it just allows your wires to twist on and off then okay Okay, so we've got the new O2 sensor. Once you open these and fit these on a vehicle, they cannot be returned if they're faulty. Okay. So what we'll do, basically take all this stuff off it, get it ready for installation. Don't be putting any grease or anything on that, okay? It already has sort of uh, pre-installed that onto it. This one is a pre-cat, so this one's before the Cadillac converter. That's why this one's at the top of the engine. Most vehicles have two O2 or oxygen sensors. One pre-cat and one post-cat after the Cadillac converter. It basically finds out, makes sure that the Cadillac converter is doing its job in reducing your exhaust emissions. So then all we we'll do now, let's do that in reverse procedure. Make sure your ratchet's on tighten. Tight, don't over tighten. And remember, don't leave it loose. Connect your switch back up. Install it back on. All we need to do now is erase any fault codes and it's good to go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Look out for the next video. The next video is going to be on how to actually test an O2 sensor. That's going to be the next one. Okay. I'll show you how to do that. That's that helps, you know, rather than just replacing it. I've already pre pre diagnosed this, um, but it does help. Uh, identify whether the O2 sensor is in good condition or not before you just replace it because they can be pretty expensive they're maybe about 70 or 80 pound so yes look out for that new video speak soon thanks